So here is all the 3D printed parts installed. I obviously have the bed here along with the fuel cell. These are just models that I found online and I also added my own design which is a fuel cell. Um, so yeah, uh, there are a few scratches because the support material from the print didn't really want to come off. And this fuel cell is actually a press fit, it's not really held in by anything which is pretty impressive. I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, do a sports back uh, just to show off the fuel cell and the bed itself. So this is a pretty well known mod, um, just using the rear upper links to make the fastback mod. Um, so essentially you'll just cut off the cage and bolt these on. So we're going to make a total of seven cuts. So one, two, three, four on the bottom here and then one, two, three at top. And essentially remove this chunk of the cage and we'll be putting in the upper link. So here is all the cage chopped off. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the cuts to make sure that the cage is sort of round. So here it is, uh, cleaned up as best I can with the uh, tools I have. I just used a uh, box cutter and a file. Uh, and yeah, looks fine, uh, a bit rough, but I'm going to clean that up later. Now we're going to move on and actually install these. What I'm going to do first is actually pop the ball ends out and then I'm going to unscrew one, two, three, and four. With a knife, I'm going to go ahead and trim a bit off this part right here. That's just so that this um, doesn't widen the cage too much because of the thickness of this rod end. And uh, also that would allow the roof to just bolt straight back on because if you don't trim this a little bit, the hole would essentially move outward slightly and uh, the original holes on the roof will not fit. So with this part of the cage unscrewed here and here, we're going to now install the rear upper link into the position. Essentially what you do is just thread it in into the um, where the screw used to go and essentially just screw that in. Uh, same with this part, it is all installed nice and solid and uh, looks pretty good. Uh, I did uh, swap out the stock self tapping screws, the coarse thread screws, so these are just some stainless machine screws. Next up is obviously going to be the roof and it's pretty basic, just going to cut it where that bend happens and uh, bolt it back on. So here I have the back cut off and also rounded off the edges of the uh, Lexan here. I've also ovaled out um, the holes where the screws go through just so it fits a bit nicer. Uh, but yeah, so here we have it, the fastback mod and uh, with the fuel cell and also maybe in the fenders and bed. I'll probably go ahead and paint the fuel cell at a later date, but for now I think this looks actually really nice. It actually also um, gets a bit of the weight off the back and high up, so this is uh, kind of a performance mod, but the three printed parts do add a little tiny bit of weight, but all in all, pretty satisfied with it. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.